Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Second full week of February, 11th, 11th of February today. We're coming at you. European Open here. Um, just need to get this off my chest, right? This dollar Swiss. Let's see. For six, six fucking days, dollar Swiss has been basically one double O figure 30. We, of course, had the idea that this thing was going to go higher and yada, yada, yada. There'd be risk above 10030. And, uh, and last night, it goes up 100 points in five minutes, comes back down 100 points in five minutes in Asia. More than frustrating. Just so annoying. These algo driven moves in Asia while we're sleeping. Of course, it's my own fault, right? I mean, there was a time in my career where the phone was ringing all night, every night. Now that I'm just old and tired, I sleep through the Asian shift. Um, thankfully, we do have North American staff who was able to profit from that, but golly, if you're a European trader, WTF, right? Wow. Anyway, let's get to the business at hand today. Uh, we've got some sterling... Uh, releases on the calendar GDP uh, which should add some some vol to the mix you saw our week in review um, my colleague wants to buy straddles and sterling there's going to be some vol there I think that's not a bad idea downside looks like the risk side um, but you might see both sides in play with some news bombs or whatnot, but it looks like it's going to be a wobbly week for sterling. Uh, I'm not, uh, no horse in that race right now, so I'm just watching at the moment. Uh, but yes, sterling looks, uh, looks to be going into a very wobbly week. Elsewhere, uh, just to have a look at this dollar yen, it makes absolutely no sense to me that we're here, but we do know there's going to be risk now above last week's high, 109.16. Uh, how or why this gets done, uh, I don't know. It's eerily reminiscent of uh, this dollar Swiss stop run, where it didn't really make a lot of sense. But a lot of comfortable shorts are put on with stops above these highs, and then when you see the pair, it just doesn't doesn't go down you realize at some point it just has to go up and clear this clear this stuff so let's keep a close eye at 110 16 um, sort of doubt based on recent trends I sort of doubt Europe's gonna have the balls to do anything we'll just probably you know sit here in our little castrated state in a small range but um, 10016 I 110.16 uh, worth watching. On the more logical side of the trade, we've got this uh, Euro Yen core short. Uh, we've been running. We kind of listed on Twitter what, you know, why this thing could probably go down this week. We have, you know, this hard Brexit, which is bad for Sterling, but also bad for Euro. We've got Catalonian. Stew beginning to boil again. Uh, obviously, boons are are trading uh, up at one sixty six seventy. Insane. Um, France yellow vest. Macron has no backing in Italy. It's just Italy lying about their GDP and their industrial production. So logically, you would say you would think that Euro Yen is going to go lower. Why we're at 124.45, I don't know. I guess probably because people are a little bit short. But we want to sell high ones in this uh, in this pair. Doesn't look like we're going to get back above 125. Your sell zone is probably going to be uh, between year 50 and 80. You want to sell Euro Yen, and that's more of a sort of global macro logical trade uh, more than technically driven candlestick trade. We have had four red days in a row, so we could easily get consolidation here, but I think it's more likely just to have more red. We did see some bids at the open in Euro at, at 20 that needed to get chopped through. Um, we 
or just sitting here eating through those those bits very slowly well, actually no look I'm sorry we do went down to 13 so we're through those bids back up here at 20 um, the news flow in Europe is just so bad that you just get the feeling we're going to get continued selling so selling high ones in euro dollar also of interest to us we do think this key uh, 112.90 area is going to come into play followed by the 112.70 area so 112.70 is even more important but 90 is probably going to break today um, even though we don't have any releases uh, Europe just looks sick um, we do have FOMC member Bowman speaking today, 5.15 uh, Swiss time, so keep an eye out on that, eye out on for that. And let's quickly shift over to equities, which have done really not too much. We had that little squeeze at the end of the day Friday. We're bears on this. We're looking to resell, but we have to recognize that the resell, you know, this is bearish all the way up to 28.10. So there's like a 4% range up top here that you want to get short in. And so you can either do this one or two ways. Um, what we're doing is, as we were on Thursday, we got short at some nice levels, and then we just took profit and squared. And now we're going to resell again um, with the idea that our average short on this sort of voyage between 2700 and 2800 um, will eventually pay with a move back down to 2500 but you got to be nimble you got to be tactical and you got to be committed to this because there's going to be one or two days where this thing goes a little bit too far up through the 200 day up through 2750 for whatever reason it could be trade news it could be you know god knows but just in sort of typical s p fashion People are getting comfortably short here. There's going to be some sort of squeeze, and there might even be a squeeze above these key highs, 28.19. And, you know, if you look back, and I hate to just run back to, you know, conspiracy crazy times, whatever, but if you look back at 2000, uh, 2007, 2008, we have this kind of same type of pattern, so we. We were 1578 down to 1248 and we made these key highs at 1400 and, and that looked like it was going to cap it but no we actually went up to 1432 three percent higher than those highs before we had the big smash down to 600. this looks eerily reminiscent to that whereas this looks like the safe stop point 2812 you need some powder dry in case this thing overshoots and overextends up there so it's tricky here 2704 we're just sitting waiting waiting for more of a perfect setup on the short side um, but we do like this this thing lower we do think we're we're in a bear market um, so something to watch and consider dollars are did what we asked did what we asked it uh, on Friday, sort of that 56, 66 range, but it closed down at 60, so now that's a bit of a worry for your longs. Looks like we're going to get some consolidation here. Um, you want to keep your eye on on risk. Uh, ideally, for this thing to shoot higher, you obviously want to risk off and higher dollar. Right now, we have neutral risk and. Okay, the dollar's higher, but sort of neutral-esque dollar as well. 113.20 in euro dollars. Really the middle, middle of nowhere in, with respect to like recent large ranges. So, so today we're, we're just watching this. It looks like this is probably going to trend a little bit lower. If you want to be sneaky, you want to pick this up maybe in the low 50s today. Um, that's your dollar's are. Uh, we talked about Euro Yen. Iron Ore is up like 8% or something idiotic. Uh, so Aussie, Aussie and Kiwi are holding up here. Kiwi's, Kiwi's up at 67.60. Uh, 
you'll see resistance in Kiwi at 68 the figure uh, I don't expect these guys to turn hard uh, but nor do I have a real strong feel uh, for what's next and they're the third brother of the uh, commodity currencies dollar cad gotta say um, that number was hysterically strong on Friday and we really could not hold Canadian dollar strength the path of least resistance on this guy looks looks north so um, you gotta watch you gotta watch this um, 133 the figure area and you kinda you're kinda waiting now for this 133.78 which looks likely this week poor long dollar cad doesn't make any sense um, as far as those employment numbers but oil is coming off and price was was very strongly anti-CAD so stronger dollar weaker CAD on Friday you know we, we pincered down to the 30s and then we jammed right back up to uh, 85 90 and here we are at 93 and oil taking a bit of a bath down 1.3 percent is oil going to break this 51.30 51.25 don't ask me oil's in a weird craziness right now but if you looked at this chart and you said what's going to happen next you and you didn't know it was oil you would easily say that yeah this 51.44 level is, is going to go today or tomorrow so dollar cat top side uh, looks like we'll yield some joy. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. A little bit of a rant on my dollar Swiss anger. Um, why dollar Swiss moves 100 points in Asia and for six days moves 30 points in Europe beyond me. But this is the new FX. We have no one to blame but ourselves. And we just have to evolve and adjust or die. With that lovely thought, I will wish you a profitable day and see you tomorrow, folks. Ciao.